and we are filming. I'm so glad to be shooting this video with you today. And thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to touch on a question which is so frequently asked. I actually want to put a stop to it because I'm going to give you the clearest possible explanation of how to chop off a succulent head. More specifically, this Aeonium Sunburst. Look how beautiful this sunburst is. Now, our objective today is to help you put an end to this question. Can I chop the head off and how? So, I'm going to show you how to chop that head off so that you can eventually make babies like that. I chopped it off for a while ago and these two babies came up. But I'm warning you now, it is such a difficult plant to, um, to actually cut off the head to grow. You see there I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. And out of those eight that I cut, only two of the stalks actually made babies. That's why this plant is such a mission to grow and quite frankly it's it's pretty like scarce. You can't get it anywhere. And I seem to be growing them pretty well. So I want you at home, if you want to make more babies, I want to show you how. So here's the spelling for that in case you want to go Google that. Aeonium sunburst, if it's not 100% the spelling, then just look for that nice picture. All right. Um, yes, I am then going to do that. Right, so what you need to chop the head off is a scissor. You need a pair of scissor so that you can cut off the head. But where you cut off the head is a big part of it. Because you can't just willy-nilly cut it over there, for instance. Like, that's not going to grow. When you're busy looking at wh when you're going, where you're going to cut the, cut the head off, you need to like look where there's fresh life. And I'm just, sorry, I'm just busy admiring this plant. It, it is so old. Um, I reckon three years maybe three or four years and if you look along the stem it's bare there's literally no babies have come from this Ionium and it's pretty frustrating especially for people like me who like to grow them like it looks so beautiful please don't get me wrong but when you chop off the head it will grow again so don't think that you're gonna chop the head off and it will die this beautiful rosette that it has you just plant it flat on the floor and then for a while it will grow upwards and then eventually it will turn to the side like that. So it looks like a little sunflower. It's a Aeonium sunburst though. Not a Aeonium sunflower. <laughs> but anyway, I like how they, they turn toward the sun. Alright, I digress a little but welcome to my channel at Succulent Academy where I really want to teach you everything about the succulent that, in a way that you can actually understand it. I was getting back to the point about where you should cut and you notice that over here is green and then it's brown and then it's dark brown. That means that that plant is old and it's getting newer and newer and newer, you know, as the plant grows out that way. Now with this Ionium, you have to cut it in the leaves and normally with a succulent like the Echeverias, you don't, you don't have to do it to get babies. But for this one I found that you need to chop it where there's um, where there's leaves so that it can actually grow so that it can when you cut it it makes babies and that is obviously what I want to show you today all right so you're gonna have to determine where you cut it so leave about two or three leaves just take off the dead leaves that's always a goodie The, the leaves don't really, don't actually grow from leaf. Although I've, I've heard of some people say it, but you know, I don't think it works. And yeah, I don't believe in chopping from a leaf. But anyway, right, yeah, you got, you're going to give it a good chop and in the green. And that's what's so weird about this one. Because normally with succulents, you don't cut so far up. But I found with this sunburst, 
we've just left some leaves there and then the baby should grow that's how I got those to grow and the higher up you go I suppose the more um, chance you have but I don't like taking risks with such a beautiful plant so just take like the bottom few leaves and then when you plant it again you want to take off these bottom leaves so that there's just like a tiny bit of space and you can do this with all your succulents actually just break it off jeez okay check out that that actually broke into the park don't rip off your leaves please and here's an interesting fact this doesn't want full sun now in fact it can be in the shade this table over here is completely in the shade and I found that these um, the plants without now obviously heads I don't think they can take as much sun like there's a uh, Echeveria frilly I also chopped th those heads off um, in January like these are so chopped off in January that's like six months ago so I'm going to put this one I'm gonna take it out of the pot because I want to use the pot again and to take such an old plant out of the pot just give the pot a squeeze and a twist and then it's taken out so just leave that over there and hopefully it will grow but fear not you can now plant this lovely plant in there and the nice thing about succulents is that you don't even need to plant them you can just literally leave them on top of the soil and i'll get to that now i want to show you something really cool and i'm going to take this and we're going to take a little walk to where i planted these the head that i cut off and it's over there all right you ready the, the sun is a bit bad but you can't always have perfect conditions all right look how cool that looks look how beautiful and big that is so i cut that head one of them from here and i simply put it on top of the soil and this one particularly has got a lot of yellow and the funny thing about these sunbursts is that they never actually really look the same like that is a really good looking sunburst i'm not gonna lie this is also pretty but that's like the sunburst that's what it should look like so this is a little mutation and i think that this yellow it means that it can't be in the sun i mean that is a burn spot people always ask me you know how do i know if my succulent is getting enough sun this is too much sun if this happens you know just just remove it so keeping that in mind i'm going to put it in a place where it's a bit shadier and i'm going to put it there i do have succulents growing underneath the tables but it's facing north so these get sun majority of the day underneath and like those i told you earlier you don't have to plant it watch this bam just make it face the sun when you plant it. You can't just throw. Alright. Luckily the onium leaves are strong. So you can tug it around a bit. I didn't plant it. I just put it on top of the soil. It will make roots. And if you don't believe me. Stick around. Because in a minute I'm going to go walk to where. I cut those. Um those frilly heads off I'm going to walk like here I actually need to find it gosh well this is a bit of a tour this is my plant house and I've just come down to where the frilly is so that's one of them but I'm going to move down there there because there's three and I picked it up the other day and I want to confirm with you that you don't need to plant your succulents because that's a, a myth. Right, beautiful frillies. One, one, two, and three. All right, watch this. I'm going to pick it up. See, nothing fancy. It's off the ground. Look at those roots. It's not much, but I cut this in January. 
and look how stunning it looks. Wow. Not many roots, but it's growing. It's been there since January. Those as well are just plonked down and those there. And yeah, that, that is how you then gonna chop a succulent's head off so that you can actually make babies. And then these you sh can chop off if you want. Or you can leave it on there because now there's like nice two figurines. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions regarding sunburst or regarding how much sun it needs. Any succulent, um, just ask me questions. Because I've got so many succulents and so much knowledge to share with you guys. Like, I just want people to ask questions so that you know. Because I get asked questions every market and, you know, I've got questions about plants. I've got questions about, you know, you might have a question about this one. I know how it grows. Ask me. I know how that one 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 grows. Ask me. I literally cut from these on a weekly basis so I know exactly how each of them grows and throughout the years I now know which plants enjoy the sun more enjoy the shade more and I love bonsai plants like I saw this one the other day this is now a a donkey ear look at this one it's such an old plant it's a bonsai there's a little you know where it went up chopped that years ago branched off chopped it off again branched off beautiful of here as well chopped off the head like what we did to make more babies and so it grew and it's so old it got lichen and it's about to flower so I'm going to show you the flower which is over there and then I'm going to put off the video because I'm digressing now so much but just to recap this we just cut off an Ionium's head and I really hope that it will grow. Remember when you do cut it off, don't cut it off clean, clean at the stem or th don't cut it too far below the leaves. You need to cut it in where the actual leaves were growing. All right, well, yes, the flower. While well, it's about to flower, been waiting for ages. And just to recap, can I chop off a head and how? answer with this specific Ionium sunburst yes um, and this really works with other succulents as well but I mean then it doesn't look pretty you know it doesn't look pretty now that's why I just keep it under a table yeah all right thank you very much for watching bye